Hi, Brad with ATS Pro. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Sprolink NeoLive with the latest firmware. After I download the software from Sprolink.com, there's a Mac installer and a Windows installer. Since I'm on the Mac, I will install the Mac version. I'm going to drag this to my Applications folder. Now that I've done that, I'll open my Applications folder and I'll find the Upgrade tool. Launch it. Okay, so now that I've got the Upgrade tool launched, I've connected the USB to my computer. You don't have to change any settings. You just say log in. And if you see a green connection status, that means you're good to go. So now I'm ready to do the first upgrade. And in between each one, I'm going to pull the power and plug it back in. Now that the first MCU binary is done, the Sprolink is powering back up. So we're back up. So let's do the next one. I would recommend rebooting after every firmware update. So cycle the power, plug it back in. Now that the Sprolink Neo Live is restarted, we'll do the next update. This is the font custom 32 binary. Click on that and hit upgrade. This one's really quick as well. Okay, that's upgrade 100%. I'm going to do the next. So we'll cycle the power, wait a few seconds, then plug it back in. So next we're going to install the FPGA binary. This is a big update. This one takes the longest. So I'm going to click on that and hit upgrade. Let's go. Click yes. So now that it's 100%, we're going to cycle the power again, pull the plug, wait a couple seconds, plug the power back in, tighten the connector so it doesn't come up. And that's how you upgrade the NeoLive R2. Don't forget to subscribe and like to our channel. And if you need more information, visit us on the web at www.ats-pro.com or call us at 800 755-3235. Thanks for watching.